Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara. I am a 39 year old mother of five, a beauty and fitness lover. I know I've been MIA, I apologize. A lot has been going on in my life, but I picked up the Dior Holiday Collection set and this is what we're gonna be playing with today. There is a lot of new makeup out right now and the holiday collections coming out, I'm kind of iffy on them. I'm not entirely wowed by them. However, the Dior collection, this one is the one to beat. So starting off with the highlighter, this thing is breathtaking. The, the packaging, I'm such a packaging snob. This was the one that is probably the most beautiful of all of the luxury holiday collections to date. And I picked up the lightest shade in this one, 001. Oh, it's so lovely. The collection is set in gold. The quads are in gold, or quince rather, excuse me, the quince. I only have one other Dior holiday collection, and I believe that one was from two years ago that I bought. But this one is all gold everything. I got mine from the website because it launched on the website first and I knew what pieces I wanted. I wasn't sure if I'd get any of the liquid lipsticks from other retailers, but also because I love their tier system. This one gave me the option to get my name engraved on the lipstick. I don't have the 999. So this one was one of the lipsticks that I picked up as well as the shade 284 Rose Mm, I cannot read the rest of it, but I did get my name engraved on it for free. I, well, it was kind of like a bonus. I couldn't figure out how not to put it on there, so I just went ahead and did it. And I think it's just such a beautiful, elegant touch. The embossing on the lipsticks is chef's kiss. Just like the Paris embossing, the Dior lipsticks are so stunning. The formulation is amazing. The packaging is top tier. You cannot beat Dior when it comes to the packaging this year. I also picked up two of the Liquid Rouge lipsticks. Liquid, yeah, I don't know how they actually, you know what? I got two of these. I got the shade 999 and I also got the shade, this 903? I wanna say it's called Sequin. Either way, each of these pieces, I will have the information listed on the screen somewhere for you as long as, as well as the price. <laughs> that will be there. I know they're still available at several retailers, Neiman Marcus, Self Ridges. You can get a couple of the pieces, I wanna say from Sephora. I, I haven't seen it at, at Ulta. I'm not sure if it's gonna to come to Ulta or not, but I will have that information linked down below. As well as everything on my face, those links are affiliated, so if you purchase from them, thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. And if you find today's video interesting in any way or entertaining, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you are not already so that you can stay up to date with what I am doing. The only thing that is not part of the Dior collection in this video is the new Gucci blush. This is the holiday, well, what shade is it? I got number 11 Intense Ruby. I think I listed that on my channel as watermelon. It is actually just Intense Ruby. I think it's so pretty. I don't imagine the formulation is any different from their standard lineup. I'll use this on my left cheek and the highlighter on my right cheek so you can see how they both differ and then put them together. I've been MIA for some time. I'm gonna use this on a Wayne Goss F1 brush, this shade Intense Ruby. Ooh, hopefully it's not too intense. I've had a lot going on in my life. My son graduated from basic training with the Air Force. Oh, that's pretty. I've had to work quite a bit extra. I do have my base finished already. I'm wearing the Huda Beauty. Which one is this one? It's the newest foundation with the newest primer. I will have that linked somewhere on the screen and it will be linked down below. I really liked it when I was in Texas. This foundation stood up against the heat and humidity. I loved it. All of my pictures turned out flawless with my son. This did not let me down. This blush shade though is really intense on my fair skin. My bronzer's already on. I'm wearing the Tom Ford Terra bronzer. This is really, really pretty. I have the baby pink shade in this blush and I have the peach shade, but I don't have a red shade like this. So this is really nice. I will have to tone it down, buff it out. But for a blush, I already know I like the formula. 
it's amazing. I just wasn't sure if I'd like the color or not. So really I was taking a chance on it and I wanted the red packaging because it's so pretty. But I do like this shade. I just know I need to tone it down. Before I apply the highlight, I wanna show you the packaging here. This is so beautiful. And then, like I mentioned earlier, I got this shade 001 Lumiere, OR Lumiere. I'm not really sure what the name is. It says Lumiere. This shade will likely be too deep for me, but I think I can make it work. I just wanna show you the embossing before I swatch it. Here is a pretty good swatch of it. And I just wanna see if it's going to be too dark for me, which I think it might be. I'm gonna use a Sonia G mini cheek and I'm gonna pick it up and place this on the right cheek. Ooh, that's most likely gonna be a little too deep for me, but it's really pretty. I am very fair skinned. Like I mentioned, this foundation is the new Huda one. Why don't I just tell you what shade it is? So we're all on the same page. Just for your reference, the Easy Blur Huda Beauty is Vanilla 120B. I am very fair skinned. I thought I'd be even lighter than that. So this is still a, just a touch too deep for me. But this is how it looks all on its own without the blush, just over the bronzer. And now I'm gonna try it over this blush and then I'll tone it all down when the whole look is complete. It's not so bad over the blush. I don't see any casting or any darkness. It just doesn't feel as bright for me. I'm gonna use it. It's such a beautiful shade. And then the formulation feels like a baked gelée. I could be wrong on that, but that's what it feels like in the pan and when I touch it. I don't think it's their normal powder formulation. I think now I'll just go ahead and put blush over the top of this cheek with the highlighter down. And maybe I will like it more if I do the highlighter first and then the blush after. I'm gonna move on to lips now. I'm using the Tom Ford lip liners. I already put them on my palm to do a swatch test for the end of the video. I have two shades here, one in the shade 102 Ray C. This is the one I'm wearing right now. And then I have a red shade in the shade 108 headline. We're gonna smudge these out later. But for right now, I wanna try out the new matte lipsticks. These are the Velvet Matte. If you've been around here long enough, you know I love my Dior Velvet Mattes. I will be comparing these towards the end of the video to the shades that I already own. So stick around for that. I'll also have those timestamped down below for you. The two shades I bought were 284 Rose Bavarde, Bavarde, and then the shade 999, which is their classic red shade. These are both the velvet formulas. I'm gonna start off with the nude shade, but this is the one that I think is probably gonna be the more wearable shade for this collection. However, I'm gonna finish it off with the red shade. No matter what, I gotta wear a red. The formula is so good. You have probably heard me say that a thousand times over. That is a beautiful shade. None of my teeth so far. I think it's very flattering. It is a pretty pinky undertone, more rosy nude for me. I will leave this on for right now and then I'll switch it out to the red shade. I won't be wearing this formulation for today. However, towards the end of the video, when I swatch out my red lipsticks in this collection, I will swatch these as well. My eyes are already primed with the Melt Melted Eye Primer. This is in the shade Vanilla. This is the Dior packaging for this Quint. Absolutely breathtaking. I'm gonna get my fingerprints all over it. I do wanna share with you the embossing inside. It does come with the little brushes that I never use, but the embossing is captivating. It's absolutely beautiful. There are two quints to choose from. The other quint was heavily metallic. There are more metallics than mattes in this one, but I felt like this one was a little bit more wearable for me. And I'm very drawn to this deep red shade here. 
These quints do not have names or numbers to them, so when I number them, I'm going to number them this way from left to right, top to bottom, one, two, three, four, and then the gold is just the gold in the center. I'm gonna start off with the Danessa Merrick's My 20 brush, and I'm gonna pick up the number two shade, which is the top right, and I'm going to place that all over the crease and just sweep it all the way through. I've been working so much lately that I have not kept up with the majority of the makeup launches. I want to get a few of the Chanel pieces that are coming up, the holiday collection that, that comes out. I believe it's this week, actually. I picked up the new quad from Tom Ford, Black Diamond. That one I do have waiting to use. I also got Metallic Mauve. I haven't even used that one yet. I've been wanting to use it. Things have just gotten away from me. I haven't been able to keep up with some of my favorite content creators. I just don't have much time outside of sleeping and working. And then when I did get onto YouTube, I didn't want to kind of keep up as much as I wanted to. That sounds terrible. I didn't keep up as much as I truly wanted to because I was pretty down on myself, feeling like I was behind, didn't get to really keep up with my friends. And then the community that I've been building has been so thoughtful and so patient and kind. You guys have really made me feel good and supported. I do appreciate that. I just have not had me time and today feels like such a good day for me time. I'm gonna pick up the bottom right shade, number four, that matte shade. I think it's the only matte in the palette. I'm going to use this on the outer crease first. And then as I get the majority of the product off of my brush, I will bring it into my crease. As I was saying, my son graduated basic and then I took that time off to spend with him. There are some really good things coming up for holiday launches. I was not interested in the Pat McGrath. The Natasha Denona, now that looks really beautiful. I love that it's mostly purple and it's got berry tones in it. I'm cool with it. I feel like as a creator, you're never gonna make everybody happy. You're gonna get some people who don't like your <laughs> releases and some people like myself who do. I'm just disappointed in seeing the constant criticism. Like I said, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. It's not my makeup line. So if something releases that's not for me, it's not for me. I just, I don't feel the need to harp on it. Like the Pat McGrath holiday collection is not for me. I didn't pick it up. It is what it is. There, you know, there's always going to be something else. There's always going to be repeats or similarities between brands or collections or launches. That is just the way it is in the makeup community. I personally am excited for Natasha Denona's palette. I think it's called Roxa or Roxy, I cannot remember. Either way, that's got my name on it. I will be getting that one. I even got the I Need a Warm palette, haven't touched it. It showed up and then I just never got around to using it. So I don't know if I'm even gonna have an opportunity to before the holidays actually do arrive. I likely will not film it. So most people who were interested in it probably got it and no one's gonna watch that video from me anytime soon. I'm gonna take this berry shade on my lower lash line now before I forget, just because it's easier to do it before I get too far ahead of myself and have to come back. I'm still doing cardiology. I love it, by the way, cardiology. The more I do it, the more I like it and I've gotten so much better at reading telly strips and rhythms. I'm gonna take the top right shade, that light pink number two, and I'm going to kind of gently buff around that berry shade I placed on my lower lash line. And now I'm gonna take a My24 from Danessa Merricks and take the top left shade. It looks like a duochrome. So I'm gonna place this dry. I'm not gonna wet my lid, spray my brush, anything like that. I'm gonna use on the left lid first, just to kind of see how it applies. It doesn't look like it's giving much of anything. Let me see if I can use my finger. Yeah, it looks like a deep duochrome, but obviously not too shiny. It's not giving me a whole lot, that's okay though. So neither of these two shades look like they're very bright or reflective. I'm gonna use that same My24 brush and pick up the taupe shade and I'm gonna place this on the inner third of my eye. 
gonna bring it over that pink shade. It's definitely not the most impactful and I did not go into this thinking it would be because it is a luxury brand. So I'm gonna pick up that gold shade in the center on a pencil brush. This is a My 16. I'm gonna use this as an accent right on the inner corner here. And normally if I wanted something very bold and dramatic, I would go for an indie brand anyway. It's not giving me a whole lot, that's okay. I'm gonna put on a brown liner though and do my mascara and try to wear some false lashes for today. And then we will finish off with a different shade of lipstick and do some swatches. Here's the completed eye look with my lashes on. This is the Lily Lashes in the style Claire. I thought these were really cute. They're a little too long for my eyes. I should have cut them just a little bit more, but I'm not in the mood to keep playing with it. So we're gonna leave it alone. I did wanna show you how this looked with this shade before I switched it out to red. I think it's very beautiful. It's very wearable. The entire look is very wearable. Even without the lashes, I use the Charlotte Tilbury mascara, the Exaggerize. This is a great mascara. I haven't had any trouble with it flaking. It has made my lashes look beautiful when I don't wanna wear falsies. Today, I definitely want to wear falsies. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tom Ford 108 shade headline and line my lips with this one. I've wiped off most of it. I'm just gonna kinda of trace over what little lip liner I still have left. I don't have a red lip liner from Dior, so this one from Tom Ford is beautiful, it's perfect. This is the shade 999 from Dior. I'm also going to show you the embossing on this one. Absolutely beautiful. It's just such a beautiful red shade. It's a classic red. It matches this lip liner perfectly. Admittedly, this is a stunning red shade. I don't see any on my teeth yet. I'm sure I'll have some by the end of the day or at least before this video is finished. But this is a gorgeous red. I can see why it is a classic cult for Dior. I don't know if I like it more than Rouge Diablo 666 or Rouge Shanghai. I am gonna swatch it to those though. I do have them with me. These are three of my favorite red shades of all time. So I want to try comparing, let's swatch this first. This one, 999, I'm gonna swatch them here on my arm. This is a shade that everyone is familiar with with Dior, beautiful red. Rouge Diablo, this one is my favorite one, Rouge and Diablo, whatever, 666. This one is more of a berry undertone. It's just slightly pinker. Oh my goodness, just beautiful. It's my favorite red shade of all time. Rouge Shanghai 854. This one is a little bit deeper. Mm, okay, absolutely stunning. And then one of my more recent pickups was Rouge Gypsy. This one is 764. It's a little bit more pinky as well. Oof. It's a lot closer to Rouge and Diablo. I don't know. I think for the four red shades though, while these two are a little bit more similar, 999 stands out quite a bit more. And then Rouge Shanghai is just deeper in general. It's just breathtaking. I love all of these shades. And now I wanna swatch the liquid red 999 next to these. This one is a beautifully soft formula. I've tried it, I've worn it. It's so smooth. It doesn't make my lips feel like they're drying and cracking, but this is that shade compared to the others. And then this one, where is it at here? It's almost like a black and purple shade. This one is number, if I can see it, 903. Sequin, I think that's what that is. It's got little purple sparkly flecks to it. It's a little more reflective with the glitter than the 999. And a little bit more sheer actually. If I'm looking at it on my arm, 999 looks a little bit more opaque than this blackened purple shade. This one looks quite a bit more sheer. I just wanted a unique, intriguing color and this was the one to go for. 
Humor me for just a little bit longer. I want to compare the nude shade to two of the ones that I own. Let's see here. This one is the newest shade. It's a very pretty rosy undertone nude. The next one I'm gonna swatch is 220 Beige Couture. This one I feel like is my perfect nude as far as the lineup for Dior goes. It is a very beautiful wearable nude for me. And then last but not least, this one you can get in the permanent collection. This one is the limited edition embossing, but it is 720 Icone. This one's a gorgeous rosy undertone. It's, oh, it is actually quite a bit more, it's quite a bit more similar to this holiday one, just a bit deeper. So I will get good use out of all of those nude shades. I just was hoping it would not be too similar. And it's not too similar. Like I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, it actually looks pretty good. Like it, you can see the subtle differences to it. So let's go ahead and do this really quick liner smudge. I have been wearing this on my hand for about a half hour or so. Just kind of want to see what happens here. I've worn the nude shade, I believe that one's number two, for my vacation to Texas. That one is a gorgeous liner. It lasted all day. The red one, they're both holding on pretty dang good. I'd say these are... Well, for the price, I mean, nobody needs a $45, I think it's close to that, like $42 to $45 lip liner. It better hold up, and it does. This one that I wore on my trip, it lasted all day. It didn't go anywhere. This red one, I mean, I'm really, really working at this thing, and it's not going anywhere, so I think I'm gonna get pretty good use out of that, at least for today. I really love the way my makeup look turned out for today. I think the lipstick is just a beautiful touch and any excuse I have to wear a red. I'm gonna wear a red, it's my jam. There are plenty of other launches that I do have with me. I have quite a bit that I've collected over the last couple months that I do need to keep up with. I'm gonna try to create a video later today swatching a few of the new lipsticks that have launched that I've picked up because I have a few. I know I mentioned I need to hold off, but I did pick up some and I'm gonna try to get that video filmed today. Otherwise, my goal is just to kind of get one filmed in a week because I only get one to two days off. So I'm gonna try to make better use of my time, schedule some me time in here. And then of the ones that are my favorite, it's just the packaging for the highlighter. I don't feel the highlighter is very special. It's not the most standout formulation. Packaging wise, Ooh, I love it. I think it's gorgeous and I'm just gonna wanna stare at it all the time. Lipsticks, you already know I love the lipsticks. The Quint is my least favorite of this collection. For the Quint, it's not a bad formula. I feel like I have pretty eyes. I feel like my, my makeup is pretty. Um, granted, I feel like my right eye is not holding up nearly as well. However, lashes aside, I think it's lovely. It's not giving as much as I would like for it to. The formula is no different from the last holiday quad quint that I picked up and I cannot remember how long ago. I think it was two or three years ago. It's just subtle. It's not really unique in a lot of the formulations that I have. I think the Prada formulations are better. I'm gonna pick up the Prada quad. I think that one is a quad. And compare it to this one. The Tom Ford formulations, hit or miss, but a lot of the times I like them more than the Dior. It's there, it's there, it's just my least favorite. It's there. I am very curious to know if you picked up any of this collection or if you're going to. By the way, getting it from Dior just feels like such an experience. Thank you so much for spending your day with me. I appreciate you guys so much more than you know. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.